Again, the tile is this is a um, uh, 10 by 20, 12 by 24 ceramic tile, and I just taped the back. It's kind of a it's a matte finish, it's smooth, but it's not you know shiny or anything, so the paint will stick to it really nice. And then I've got a vase here, I'm gonna try and do a matching vase and I had I did a workshop a little while ago and there was a young girl who did a set like this and she had the I should have written down the color she used because it was spectacular so I think I'm in the neighborhood of the colors that she used so that's what I'm gonna go with today so we've got metallic cobalt blue so I'm gonna do three cups roughly the same and do three ring pours and then Probably a ring pour on the vase too. So let's see where we go. Hope I have enough paint. A little bit of this nice lime green. Yeah. Copper. Always got copper. And a little bit of this aqua. Ooh, I don't know about this color. But we're gonna see. Let's get some blue again. I kind of want mostly this blue. Little bit of white, just a little bit. Oops, got a sticky wicket. I don't want too much white. Ooh, and I've got. Oh, there's a big chunk in there. I'm just putting a little bit of this. I don't trust it. There, that's it. That's it for that. Okay, so let's do some more copper. Okay, I think that's enough. Here goes. I washed it all off. on there. I think I did. Side so that we'll get the corners okay. Whoops, whoops. Just so we'll get it sliding a little better. Taking off my big long sleeves. 
Let's just torch it a bit. Okay, now these tiles are a little bit heavy. I struggle a little bit. Ooh, I like the colors already. Tired of trying to figure out what to wear every morning? Check out the outfit formula link in the description of this video for a fun journey into Hekia wardrobe planning for every budget. It's kind of like meal planning for your closet. Great ideas, great community, plus you'll be helping out my crazy starving artist lifestyle. Look at that. I was a little cheap on the paint. I wanted to make sure I had enough enough left for the vase. So I'll be stretching it a little, but I think we'll be okay. We're gonna be okay. Whoops. Oh, beautiful. Let's go back this way. Ah, there I'll rest it. Yeah, it was a little cheap on the paint, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, look at the colors. Coax it a little there. Get over the little lips. Okay, we're good down there. Let's get to the edge. Good. Come down here. are beautiful. Ended up being kind of earthy, but they're gorgeous. Gonna get down to that end, that edge. Ooh. I'm gonna scoop some up to grease the runway. Come on, where you go? All the way. I think we'll make it. We'll make it. Okay, got that. Now just a little bit more on the other side. Ooh, turn it around so you can see. Ooh, don't drop it. No, I can't hold it that way. <laughs> Ooh, ah, it's slippery now. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. There, hold it there. Ah. Yeah, I just have to get that, get the bottom. Ooh. Looks amazing. It's gonna take a minute to get it down to the bottom here. Well, that looks good. I just need to get that last little bit down there. And then I want to straighten it out because I've got like a line there. So let's do that. I love these tiles, but <laughs> they're heavy and slippery. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. 
just need to pretty it up here a little bit. Look at the edges. That's all good. Oh, amazing, amazing. Just gonna check around, make sure I've got everything. Do this around the outside so it doesn't pull too much paint off. Let's see what the other side looks like. Ooh, without leaning on it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna torch it. Beautiful. a little white dot there let's get rid of that let's get rid of that tiny little there we go got it another little white dot I don't like I think there's a little chunk of paint beautiful okay so now I'm gonna do the same thing with this let's see if I can Get roughly a similar look. So we got lots of blue. Ooh, I'm almost out of blue. No, no, no. I'm gonna put that upside down and get some more out of it. Blue, copper. Ooh, I hope I have enough paint. <gasps> I have to put a little bit of white, even though I don't want to. I don't like that white. Um, um, okay, I'll put a little bit of this. I should have mixed more blue. Don't give up on me now. Okay, I gotta try and make that work. Ooh, it's gonna be dicey, guys. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna have enough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it might be okay. Might be okay. Yeah, I think it might just stretch it out enough. One thing I need to do is help it a bit under here. That little, just to let it slide a little better. Whoops under there, so it'll run down proper. I'm gonna do this to help it to run down. Wow. If I do that, that makes it more slippery and the paint will run down faster. i make sure I get, get it all. Ooh, I think we're gonna be okay. Wow, look at that, but look at that. That small amount of white I put in there. Okay, I'm just gonna let it do its thing there. Give it a little boost there. Amazing. Woohoo! It's good. It's good. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, and then I'll come and show you a close up. But I like it. It doesn't look like that young girls did. But it's okay. It's 
good. I like it. So here it is. The colors. Ah, oh, beautiful. And it's got that like white thing there, <clears throat> white you know area. But I like it. It's nice. Breaks it up. And then look at this. It's still moving. But it's got this kind of look at I put a tiny bit of white and look how much oh it's kind of dark sorry look how much of that white is showing but it looks nice I think it's gonna be nice so that's gonna keep dripping for probably like an hour or two so we'll see what we end up with tomorrow morning I like it okay it's a week later and it's time to resin so i'm just going to so alcohol just going to spritz a little bit of alcohol in the cloth whoops and just wipe wipe it down quickly just get all the surface dust off it's been sitting for a week get any of the surface dust off and so it doesn't end up in my resin that should be fine okay all right so I'm using magic resin this is the tabletop resin and it mixes just one to one so I'm gonna get that mixed up so what have we got let's do I think I'll do uh, what is that two 50. Yeah, so I'm going to do equal parts, 50-50. So I'm going to do a whole cup because I think for the two things and then I have another little project on the go. So I'm going to do 250 milliliters of part A. It's got it. And then 250 of part B. There's a coupon for $10 off Magic Resin if you want some. It's my fave. So we're gonna go the rest of the way to the top. Ooh, that's gonna be too much resin. Here we go. So equal amounts. And I'm gonna mix that up for about five minutes. And then I'll show you how I resin these sets. Okay, I'll be back. Well, I'll just show you briefly. I mean, it's just mixing. You don't want to mix too fast or vigorous. Just kind of mix it slow and keep scraping the sides and the bottom. So we'll just do that for about five minutes and it'll get all clear and you're ready to go. Okay, it's been a few minutes. A um, few things about resin I forgot to mention. Um, First of all, if you're not in a well-ventilated large room or, well, outside would be kind of dodgy, but um, you should wear a respirator if you're not in a, you know, well-ventilated area. Wear gloves. It's very sticky stuff. Everybody's different. Um, the resin doesn't bother me at all, and this resin isn't very, you know, isn't smelly. I can barely pick up any, you know, scent from it at all. Um, but, yeah, follow the instructions and be careful. So... The resin I'm using is a tabletop. It's not deep casting. And there's a fair bit of bubbles in it. And uh, it's okay for this because I'll be able to torch it. And I'm just doing a thin coat. So I don't care too much about the bubbles. They'll all pop when I torch it or put alcohol spray on it. So I think we're good. So let's start with this. And I'm just gonna pour it on. I scraped all my sides. I think we're good so I'm just gonna pour it on I put it in a bigger container because it was a little bit too full so let's do that much that should probably do it doesn't need to be a super thick and then I just get in there with my hands I'm just gonna do this in case there's any resin on my fingertips that didn't get mixed so and I just spread it around it's kind of fun Again, I got the back tape. That's kind of important because it will drip over the edges and with the tape on, I'll show you tomorrow when I take it off. With the tape, it, you know, comes off easy. Oh, look at that. I was tempted to put sparkles in, but oh, I always want to put sparkles. And I thought, no, don't do it. Not everybody loves sparkles as much as I do. 
So, yep, so I just spread it around. Yeah, that's enough resin. You don't need to make it super thick. I'm gonna go around all the edges, make sure you get the edges. You can you can tell by the feel if it's slippery if you got the edge. And make sure your table's level. Let's get rid of that. Looks great. Okay, get my torch. What did I do with my torch? There it is. So I'm just gonna go over it. Pops all the bubbles. Beautiful. Oh, sparkle got in there somewhere. <laughs> Sparkles all over my life. Smooth that out a bit. So I'll just every, I don't know, 15 minutes for about an hour, I'll just go over it and give it a little torch, get rid of any bubbles that have come to the surface. Looks like I'm going to have to fill up my torch. Okay, now for the vase, all I do is just pour it over. Can you see? Yeah, that light's kind of in the way. Yeah. Now it's in my eyes. Ooh. I can't move anything though. <laughs> oh, I can move the camera. I can do that a little bit. Ooh, it's not great, guys. Sorry. But all I do, make sure it's straight on my little powder thing. Oops. Make sure it's kind of straight. I wonder if it'd be better if I put it over here. Let's see. Let's move it there. Can you see that better? Yeah, and then I can move the camera. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it on the top. You don't need a ton of it. And then make sure it's good and straight. And then I just do that. Whoa. This doesn't fall down. Cover it really well. Make sure it's you get underneath where that curve is, and it's gonna keep running down, and that's fine. Just make sure you got enough to cover it all. And that is about all there is to it. I gotta fill up my torch, and again, I'll just torch the vase a little bit. And it's going to, there's going to be drips and you know what? They look cool. I leave them on there. It looks like water droplets and I always leave it on because it looks neat. So I'm just making sure that this underneath area I'm getting, I don't want to leave any unresined spots. There we go. That's all there is to it. Make sure it's straight. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to fill up my torch. I can take off my gloves now. Fill up my torch and I will torch it. Whoa. Yikes. Drip that stuff propane on my thing. <laughs> Here we go. That's better. I'm give this a torch. Beautiful. And I'll just keep checking it. Make sure that no hairs or anything fall on it. Okay, that looks a bit weird there. I don't know what's going on there. Yep, so I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. 
for that and that'll make any you do have to take a hair or something off like I see a little something there where's my toothpicks yeah yeah so if there's tiny little pieces of fluff just kind of scoop them out tiny little little flecks of dust you always get a little bit you've got about an hour to kind of go and pick out little bits of dust that land on it after that you pretty much have to leave it if it and it's usually fine I mean no one no one will see that stuff you see it but <laughs> minor minor details there we go looks great okay all right so that's it so tomorrow we'll come back I'll show you how I take the tape off the back I'm just gonna do this from time to time get all the bubbles out Beautiful. That was off of that. And there we are. Okay, back tomorrow. Next morning turned out beautiful. Look at that. Let's see how the vase turned out. See, dropped it. see that's what I meant. See those little drips? I like that. It's like little water drips. People like that too. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. That turned out great. So, what I need to do now? Oh, I hate. I might put some felt on the bottom. I usually do, just so that for sure there's not going to be any scratches on tables and that. But I hate. It always looks so nice there. I think I might leave this one. Okay. So I just want to show you quickly. You got to be careful doing this. I made the mistake once. Just the next morning, I, I flipped it over to take the tape off and I put it down on the cups. The resin is still, you know, for a couple days, it'll still, it could still dent and it dented a bit. It wasn't bad, but it dented a bit. So I'm not gonna put it face down, but I just wanna show you how to take the tape off. Can you see what I'm doing? So I just carefully peel it off like that. You don't wanna peel it like that because you'll pull the resin off the sides. So you just kind of peel it, I don't know what you'd say, perpendicular or whatever, you know. Look how easy that comes off. And then you have a nice clean edge. And I'm going to put felt on the back of this. I'll put, I just, I just use, um, I just use, uh, what do you call it, Gorilla Glue, wood glue. That's just because that's what I've always been using. And uh, I glue black felt on, so I'll smear Gorilla Glue over the back and uh, put on a piece of black felt and trim it all up around the edges and it makes a really nice table runner like that so that's what I'm gonna do and then we'll be all done there it is turned out beautiful it's kind of dark Ugh. try and get so we can see look at that whoa gorgeous